in this video i'm going to share with you a strategy that i've been using to book more brides and if you're a wedding photographer wedding venue owner wedding planner or any service provider to brides and weddings you can copy this strategy so this strategy starts off with actually creating what we call a lead magnet right a freebie something that you give away free and in our case i run a company called stewie's greetings and what we do we give away what we call a wedding checklist and i believe that just about any wedding service provider can actually give their brides a wedding checklist so i created a pdf that has I think it has about 82 things in it that brides must do before getting married so it's it's organized step by step month by month week by week day by day even hours leading up to the wedding day that's what we call a high value content of so if you're a wedding service provider you can actually create something like this using adobe photoshop canva or any other graphic design tool that you want to use and if you don't know how to come up with a wedding checklist then of course you can always use AI chat GPT you can ask chat GPT to actually generate a wedding checklist and then you just pass that information over to a graphic designer or yourself and actually create a downloadable PDF document alright so once you have that freebie in place what you will now want to do is actually set up some advertising so in my case I run a lot of Facebook ads so I create a lot of ad images targeting brides, targeting people who are engaged and I say, hey, download this free wedding checklist so that you can have a hassle-free wedding planning process. That's pretty much it. And I create what we call instant forms inside Facebook. So that's Facebook's way of gathering leads. So you can create forms right there on Facebook that people can actually in input their details, their wedding date their email address we like to collect their phone numbers as well so they input their phone number so that we can reach out to them so once they sign up to get this free wedding checklist then there you go there's a lead right they're a lead that we can now use to actually reach out to them with our sales and marketing efforts right so getting leads is just one thing but you want to actually nurture and convert those leads so that they trust you so that they view you as the expert so that they believe that you are the one to go to for whatever service that you offer so what we do after we've gathered these leads we then put them into our email marketing series right so we send them a series of emails day after day well of course the first email that you send will be the one that delivers the free wedding checklist right in our case so we send them the free wedding checklist and then we also set the stage to say hey we'll be sending you some valuable tips afterwards so you can look out for this email tomorrow so we send a wedding budget the day after and then we continue along that lines tips on getting married things to do top 10 things to do before getting married questions to ask your partner the role of the wedding party so a lot of helpful tips we send and in, in our case here at Stewie's Greetings well for my company Stewie's Greetings we actually have a series of about 48 different emails that we actually send to brides to you know build a relationship and of course there's a saying in business people do business with those they know like and trust so that's our aim our aim is to nurture them or the aim is to the term indoctrinate them so that they're warm and ready to actually purchase from us so while that is happening we also have some sort of whatsapp reach out taking place so sometimes i bulk send whatsapp messages to these brides because remember i would have captured their contact phone number and many of these brides are actually on whatsapp so i actually reach out to these persons via whatsapp sometimes individually sometimes in bulk and make them different offers so sometimes i may have different free gifts in our case wedding stationers uh, right now we have a free souvenir special going on right so i might reach out to them via whatsapp and say hey congratulations on you getting married hope you've been enjoying our free wedding checklist and the different tips that we've been giving you right now we have a limited time special going on whereby we are giving away free souvenirs with the purchase of programs with the purchase of invitations or if you spend over a certain amount of dollars 
on your wedding stationery. So that's pretty much the strategy and if you're a wedding planner, if you're a photographer, if you're a wedding venue owner, you can actually adopt this strategy and of course in your way tweak it however you see fit and actually work these leads right so that's pretty much the strategy you want a mechanism to actually fill your pipeline of leads and then you also want a mechanism to actually nurture these leads or build a relationship with these leads and also position yourself as the industry expert right so once brides feel like, like you are the go-to choice why like you are the one that knows them and knows what they want or you are the one that has been the most helpful of all the venues or vendors that they've been exploring then of course they'll want to choose you and you want another mechanism to actually convert these leads so in addition to actually reaching out to these people you may want to invest in some sort of CRM right so you want to invest in a CRM that will allow you to communicate stay organized with the different stages that these brides are in so if this bride is just in the lead stage if you've had a conversation with these brides if you have provide some pricing and quotation for these brides if these brides have been closed if you've managed to get these brides to actually pay you want something to actually manage the different stages so that it can stay organized and relevant in how you actually reach out to these people so I hope this video helped if it helped Please give it a like, give it a thumbs up. I'd like to also hear your thoughts on how you go about converting brides into paying customers, booking more brides. So if you want to share those tips in the comments below, please do so. And until next time, peace out. Take care.